The next set of criteria we will address is related to repeaters. First, we will add the repeaters by using the cable assembly window. To add a repeater, click Insert, select Body, and set an appropriate position. Clicking Go will add a cable body. Change the generic body to a repeater by selecting Rep1 from the Body drop-down menu. To add more repeaters, click Duplicate. To meet this criterion, select Create Duplicates but not Pass Certain Position and set the spacing to 50 km so repeaters will be added every 50 km along the whole RPL. The repeaters will be listed in the cable assembly window and shown in plan view. To meet the other repeater criterion, we will use the buffer zone tool again. Select constant distance from feature and set it to 20 km. Buffer around cable assembly items is selected by default. Since there are no other bodies in this RPL, no added filtering is needed. Now you can use the buffer zones and the cable assembly window to get rid of, add and move repeaters so no existing cables fall within the repeater buffer zones. Moving the cable assembly window to the bottom half of the main Mackay plan window allows you to work with plan view and the cable assembly simultaneously. Use the Map Tips tool set to the cable distance to identify the repeaters in plan view. To delete a repeater, click the Delete button. To move a repeater, change the distance along cable value. This can be the trickiest step and takes the longest to address because the criterion forces you to work with spacing between 50 and 61 kilometers. Once all of the repeaters have been adjusted, you can close the cable assembly window. The last criterion to be addressed relates to cable burial. To indicate where you need cable to be buried, use the Point Properties window. Check the box for Plow Post Lay Burial Event. For the first point, Either select Plow Down, which indicates that you will begin to bury the cable as you are laying it, or select Post Lay Burial Start, which indicates that this is where you will begin to bury the cable after it has been laid. Use the Next button and Properties window to find the point at which you need to end the burial. If Plow Down was selected for the first burial event point, you would select its counterpart, Plow Up. Since we ended up selecting Post Lay Burial Start, we now select its counterpart, Post Lay Burial End. This process is mirrored for the end of the RPL. The previous button is used this time to step backwards through the RPL. Your RPL is now complete. You can turn off some of the features you added to more clearly see your RPL. To view your RPL in list form, use the RPL bottom window.
As the industry-leading software for subsea cable route planning, Mackay Plan is a highly mature tool that greatly streamlines the route planning process, saving you time and money. Please contact Mackay to try the software or for more information. Thanks for watching.